Hello guys, today I'll talk a little bit on functional forms of regression and the various uses that we make using these functional forms of regression. Let me begin by saying that the world is flat. When I say this, well you must have experienced or you must have come across like we have hills and mountains and rivers and a lot of plain areas. I mean we mean to say like the world is not linear at all. So in a way in economics as well we have a lot of different kind of relationships around us which is not like smooth or which is not flat or linear at all. So we have so many relationships such as the exponential relationship, the inverse relationship like price and demand, the diminishing returns to scale that we have in the production function and we also have the studies related to elasticity or what we call the degree of relationship. So in order to understand how these different variables are related to each other in our day uh, that we come across or that we are dealing with in our everyday life, we need to depend on some various forms of functional forms of regression equations. So the first one, when I talk about the first one, uh, so the first one I'm going to talk about is the the linear log model. Generally, when we talk about log, why we are actually talking uh, when why we are using or making the use of log that I'll try to say a little bit later on the last part of this video. Anyway, when we have this relationship, something like inflation is a function of the unemployment rate. When we have such kind of relationship, suppose it is exponential exponentially related to each other suppose say inflation is a function of unemployment rate which is growing exponentially at the rate of say suppose by a parameter that we are going to estimate that is suppose say a okay so when we mathematically uh, design it or econometrically model it we come we can do it this way like where y is your inflation beta naught is your the intercept term suppose if it has a beginning at all suppose your inflation has been starting from a certain period or whether it, when you talk about that and then suppose say we have the unemployment rate which is growing exponentially which is measured by your a plus your error term so we what we are doing is when we are talking about the linear log model so this remains linear your y variable or the inflation variable remains linear and what we are doing is this also of course remains the linear and what we are doing is we are taking the log of log of x to the power a so when we take the log of x to the power a a multiplied by log x plus here the error term so that is what we get again we can remodel this using the different notations that means by where y stands for your inflation is your, uh, is equal to beta not your intercept term beta 1 your a can be replaced uh, replaced by beta 1 and your log x can be replaced by x1 plus the other term uh, well we use or uh, we use this type of uh, models uh, we use this type of models when we suspect that when we suspect that y experiences diminishing marginal re rate of returns with respect to the increase in the x variables or we can say like the curve would be a concave curve which is con concave to the origin so it, it's a, a small note like we use this log on the right hand side of the equation that allows us to unbend a concave line into a straight line well always remember that when we are talking about regression model we are trying to uh, make the linear or estimate the linear relationship not the curves we try to bend those curves and try to make it linear with the variables that, we, that are under our study. Uh, now our second form of the use of the functional form of regression is, suppose say it is a log linear or what we call the semi-log function. Suppose you have a, a variable say for example like the GDP and we are saying like it experiences an exponential growth rate that is represented by g or you can represent uh, in a mathematical model or in the mathematical form as gdp is growing exponentially with respect to time with with a growth rate of suppose say g now how do you model this taking the log function in a regression model 
So what we do is so we simply take the log of this mathematically formulated form. So what we do is we take the log on both the sides. We take log on both the sides. Say log of GDP is equal to log of GDP naught, right? Plus this t becomes comes here multiplied by log of 1 plus g. Now again this can be replaced by saying like this or it can be represented like this. It is say log of GDP is equal to beta naught. Beta naught this log of GDP naught is replaced by beta naught. So here log of GDP naught is replaced by your beta naught. And again now this t, t is replaced by your x, t is replaced by your x and log of 1 plus z, log of 1 plus z is replaced by your beta 1 or it means like it will or it will interpret like it will reveal the growth rate this beta 1 or the parameter that we will that we are going to estimate that we are going to estimate will give us the growth rate of this GDP over time this x is your time plus your error term or if we explain uh, if we take the reverse of this equation then if we take the reverse of this equation then uh, then we can come back to what you call as the GDP is growing exponentially at the rate of suppose say g with respect to time then we can get it like GDP is growing exponentially now this equation now if you take the exponential of this equation that we have formed in this equation then we will get back we can get back to the original form of the equation that we are that we were trying to estimate or according to our assumption or the statement that we had made so it will go back to the original form now the uses we use this we use this when the variable is growing at an unknown rate you may estimate this rate by regressing the natural log of growing variable against time so look at this very carefully again now I say it like it is a log linear or semi log. So that's why I have like the log function on only on the left hand side. Though I have taken log on both the sides. Now again I have transformed this equation of course. Like and then made it into a linear form. So this becomes your log linear form of functional form of the regression equation estimation. And now the third form of third use of the functional form of model. Uh, functional form of regression model. Suppose we have the CD production function. We all know it. Like CD is a function of uh, the amount of capital with respect to the elasticity of substitution. Uh, we have a number of uh, what you call it the factors of production. So suppose select capital and labor, and this beta one, B one and B two will represent your the elasticity of substitution for those respective factors of production. And A is your technological coefficient or the technical at that variable or that parameter takes care of the technical technological changes to capture the technological changes that may be affecting the production function okay anyway what we do is this is a log log functional form of the regression model estimation here what we do is we take log on both the sides and add the error term suppose say we take the log of this equation or cd production function so we can write it as log of cd is equal to b b1 log of k plus b2 log of l plus your the intercept term again now from where it may begin like your production or suppose say like your initial uh, the initial point of production from where it can where it must have begun that is that can be captured by your that intercept term plus your error term right now this can again be uh made linear by taking the Manipul manipulated form of the above form of the equation that is y that represents a log of cd production function or the output that is represented by b naught here, here b naught comes from here plus your b1 log of k we can represent that with x1 b b2 and x2 that we can represent for log l now this kind of uh, functional forms is used to estimate the elasticity in a production function equation now these parameters beta b1 and b2 will measure the elasticity of substitution or the degree of substitution when we are going to study about the product 
well like i said quantity demanded is inversely related to price or what we call the simplest of the relationship or any even the beginners like would say like we have this relationship called uh, the quantity demanded for a normal good is inversely related to the price of that particular commodity or goods so we can mathematically model this out again like by saying like qd quantity demanded is a function of by a uh, parameter which will give us that is b1 which will give us like the elasticity actually it is called the elasticity or the degree of by how much amount how is it related the measurement like by how much change in the price your quantity demanded is affected that is the range that comes between 0 and 1 that is the elasticity of demanded is what and like i say quantity demanded is inversely related to price so we put it 1 by price 1 divided by price plus your initial demand or the normal demand even if you have well you can say like for some kind of survival or the minimum needs then you need to have for the particular commodity or the goods is represented by this beta naught plus your error term or we can uh, write in different forms suppose say like quantity demanded is equal to beta b1 multiplied by your price inverse plus b0 again plus your error term or we can also say like quantity demanded is equal to b1 which represents like i told you the elasticity of demand multiplied by 1 by x or 1 by price we just change this x or price by x we replaced it plus your intercept again or the minimum demand for your survival plus the error term so we can ultimately put it into a uh, regression equation form that is y represents the quantity demanded is equal to the minimum demand or the intercept plus your beta 1 or b1 which re reflects or which measures your elasticity of demand which ranges between 0 and 1 plus your x x is 1 by x or 1 divided by price plus your error term so anyway like this kind of relationships can also be used or where we use this kind of relationship or the reciprocal form of the functional form of model to estimate the elasticity of demand due to change in the price of a commodity uh, what is the basic reason behind taking the log forms of the different variables actually generally log is taken to minimize the variability Suppose you have like uh, so many. Suppose you take for example unemployment. So by suppose say we are talking about 2000 to 2020, the unemployment rate. It may be a whole lot of mixture. Suppose say two from 2000 to 2020, like at all. Suppose say two, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. The unemployment rate, right? So. We see like the standard deviation or the variability of if we have such kind of variability, so 2, 5, 10, 15, it's very quite different, isn't it? So, in order to make these numbers small or very close to each other, or we actually do that to reduce the standard deviation. If you take the log of it, the number comes to be very, very close to each other. That means your standard deviation will be quite very, very low if you can take the log form of those variables. Well, that is the basic reason behind making use of the uh, or why we take log for different variables. Okay, thank you guys. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.